Thank you, Chair. And hello, everyone. How are you enjoying Madeira? <laughs> My name is Takumi Ozawa from National Maritime Research Institute, Japan. Today, I'd like to introduce our study. The title is Search for Good Local Compression Condition with Bayesian Optimization. ISO 12135, which describes the method for fracture toughness test, requires crack front straightness. And a base material specimen generally meets this requirement. However, a weld specimen cannot meet it due to welding digital stress. And this figure shows the fractographs after the fracture toughness test. A base material, uh, uh, in base material uh, the uh, uh, fatigue pre crack is straight. Uh, on the other hand, that of the multipath weld is bowing. And this figure shows the digital uh, stress distribution of the weld uh, specimen. And the horizontal axis is the uh, thickness position, and the vertical axis is the uh, digital stress in crack opening direction. As shown in this figure, uh, the digital stress of the face is tensile, and uh, that of uh, mid thickness is compressive. It is said that such a distribution makes crack front bowing in weld specimen. In, uh, in order to solve this problem, ISO 15653 provides local compression, LC process. This figure shows the LC procedure. LC strain is applied to specimen before fatigue pre-cracking, and LC achieves a straight pre-crack for weld specimen. However, some interests have reported that the traditional LC underestimates the fracture toughness value by half or more. Based on the above, uh, we use the Bayesian optimization in order to identify the good LC condition, uh, which achieves a straight pre-crack while maintaining the fracture toughness value. And this slide shows the new mechanical analysis procedure. In welding process, uh, multipass welding was simulated and uh, digital stress was generated uh, to the specimen with 15 uh, millimeter thickness. And in outline cutting and LC process, LC strain was applied and the stress and the strain distribution was changed. And in pre-cracking and the fracture toughness test, a three-point bending rod was applied after the notching. And the after the notching, uh, the rigid stress, uh, so fatigue pre-crack shape was evaluated. And the via uh, three-point bending road, uh, critical CTOD was evaluated uh, based on viable stress criterion. This slide shows the evaluation method on fatigue pre-crack shape and critical CTOD. In fatigue pre-crack shape, we use the residual stress as a notch chip in crack opening direction. And if uh, the uh, digital stress is compressive at the mid thickness, uh, like the black line on the right figure, uh, we estimated that the fatigue pre crack shape is bowing. And co if constantly tensile, uh, like the red line, uh, we estimated that the fatigue pre crack shape is straight. And uh, in critical CTOD, uh, we use the viber stress criterion for the variation. In specimen without residual stress, the uh, viber stress uh, value is 1,800 megapascals when critical CTOD reaches 0 0.1 millimeter, uh, as shown in the right figure, the black line. Uh, therefore, if critical CTOD when viable stress reaches 1,800 megapascal is less than 0.1 millimeter, uh, like the blue line, uh, we estimated that the critical CTOD was underestimated. And if more than 0.1 millimeter, uh, we estimated that the critical CTOD was overestimated. This slide shows the content of the Bayesian optimization. Uh, Bayesian optimization is a method based on the expected improvement, EI. 
And this figure shows the calculation step of the Bayesian optimization. At first, based on the calculation history, the next point is selected based on the EI. And after the some calculation, uh, EI decreases due to low variance uh, when calculation point becomes dense. And then uh, the Bayesian optimization selects the next point that does not search the surroundings. It is said that Bayesian optimization needs lower calculation costs than the grid search and random search. And the Bayesian optimization can obtain the global optimal solution than the steepest descent and the Newton's method. And this uh, slide shows the uh, information of the optimization. In parameters, LC condition is determined by seven parameters. The compression area S, the aspect ratio A, and the distance from the future crack tip D, and the uh, uh, corner dimensions WN, WL, HN, and HL. And as shown in the right figure, Many LC conditions can be described by changing these parameters. In constraint condition, uh, we decided that the load is 1,000 kilonewtons or less, taking into account of the capacity of general testing machine. And pressure is 1,600 megapascal or less, taking into account of the strength of jig. And in objective function, we used the uh, following equation, and uh, using this equation as an obje objective function, uh, LC becomes better condition when the critical CTO evaluation value is equal to 0 0.1 millimeter and the residual stress is higher than the yield uh, stress, so 444 megapascals, uh, as shown in the right figure. This slide shows the overview of calculation history. And some groups were formed by the analysis result and characteristics of LC. And in this group, the residual stress is low. Uh, so uh, we estimated that uh, this crack is, uh, will be boring. And this S, so compression area, is significantly high or low or uh, the distance from the future crack tip D is significantly long. And in this group, uh, the critical CTOG evaluation value is low, and this D is equal to zero. Uh, so the uh, LC region includes the uh, future crack tip uh, like the traditional uh, LC. And in, and in this group, the uh, critical CTOD evaluation value is near 0 0.1 millimeter and the uh, residual stress is sufficiently high. So we think that uh, this uh, LC is better condition. And this S and D are near certain value. This slide shows the relationship between objective function and parameters. As shown in these figures, Good LC condition needed uh, S from 500 to 700 square millimeters and D from 2 to 6 millimeters. And uh, the side note, uh, the other parameters such as uh, aspect ratio and corner dimensions had not much effect. And based on the above, uh, we determined the experimental condition as shown in the right figure. As shown in the right figure, uh, uh, 20 uh, times 30 millimeter jig was used uh, in order to compress the position with five millimeter distance from the future crack tip uh, while LC strain reaches uh, 3%. And the required load was estimated to be 950 kilonewtons and the pressure to be 1,600 megapascals. They satisfy constraint condition. And the critical CTOD evaluation value is near 0 0.1 millimeter, and the residual stress uh, is 618 megapascals, so uh, higher than yield stress. Uh, so uh, we think that uh, this LC condition achieves a straight crack while maintaining the fracture toughness value. And uh, this slide shows the fracture toughness test result. 
as shown in the top figure, uh, we applied the LC strain and uh, conducted uh, fracture toughness test. And this figure shows the fracture surface of the uh, proposed LC. As shown in this figure, uh, the uh, proposed LC achieved a straight fatigue free crack uh, as expected. And this figure shows the critical CTOD value uh, uh, and the top data is the uh, LC condition which is recommended in ISO standard. And the uh, lower data is um, the LC condition which is identified by Bayesian optimization. Uh, as shown in this figure, uh, critical CTOD is high, uh, of the proposed LC condition is higher than that of ISO condition. Conclusion. Uh, optimal LC condition was determined by Bayesian optimization. Good LC condition needs compression area at 500 to 700 square millimeters and distance from future crack tip at 2 to 6 millimeters when speech main with 15 millimeter thickness is used. Other parameters such as spectral ratio and corner dimensions had not much effect. And based on the above, uh, experimental condition was determined. And, uh, sorry, and uh, fracture toughness test was conducted. Optimized LC condition achieved a straight pre-crack and critical CTOD was higher than that of ISO condition. Therefore, we conclude that uh, the proposed LC condition is better than that of ISO recommended one. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much.